welcome. In this video, we will look at one example of how put options are used as insurance to protect against loss in markets. Let's say a trader owns 100 shares of a stock or ETF. For this example, I will use SLV, the silver ETF. At the time of making this video, SLV has a current price of $18.62 per share. This trader feels that SLV will increase in value long term, so he doesn't want to sell it. However, he is concerned that the price of silver may make a big drop in price sometime in the near future for some reason such as some economic news due to be released soon. To protect his position, he buys a put option that expires in one month as an insurance policy. This put option allows him to sell the stock for $18 any time between the time the option was purchased and the time the option expires a month later, no matter what the price of the stock is at that time. He pays $0.33 cents per share to do this for a total cost of $33 plus commissions. This means that at any time between the time the option is purchased and the time the option contract expires, the trader has the option of selling his 100 shares of SLV for $18 no matter what the price of SLV is at that time. Even if the price of SLV drops to $6 per share, the trader can still sell it for $18 per share anytime he wants up until the time that the option contract expires. When used this way, a put option acts like an insurance policy against loss. The trader had 100 shares of stock currently priced at $18.62 per share worth $1,862 total. He buys a put option for $33 total, locking in the right for him to sell that stock for $18 a share any time between the time he purchased the option and the time the option expires in a month should the price drop. So for $33, he has locked in the right to sell his SLV for $1,800, effectively placing a floor on the amount he can lose. The trader has locked in the right to sell SLV for $18. However, he is not required to sell it if he does not want to. For instance, if SLV increases in price, the trader keeps his 100 shares, and the option, or insurance policy in this case, simply expires worthless and unused. If the stock does drop below $18 per share, the trader can use his contract any time before it expires to sell his stock for the full price that he locked in of $18. This trader bought an option giving him the right to sell the stock for $18 per share, which was below the current price that the stock was at the time the option was sold. However, that was not his only choice of contracts to buy. This trader bought an $18 put option for $0.33 cents per share. In other words, he bought the right to sell his shares for $18 per share, and he paid $0.33 cents per share up front to do this. If he had paid $0.78 cents per share up front, he could have bought a contract giving him the right to sell his stock for $19 per share. It costs more up front, but he locks in a higher sell price. Instead of locking in a sell price of $18 per share for an upfront cost of $0.33 cents per share, the trader locks in a sell price of $19 a share for an upfront cost of $0.78 cents per share. Notice here that the trader locks in the right to sell the stock for $19, but the stock is currently trading at only $18.62 cents per share. Therefore, the trader locks in the right to sell the stock for a price that is $0.38 cents a share higher than the stock is currently trading for. However, he paid more up front. He paid $0.78 cents per share for this option, with the option allowing him to sell for $18 only cost $0.33 cents per share. He pays $0.45 cents per share more up front, but if the price of SLV drops, he has locked in the right to sell it for a dollar per share higher. Another choice would be for the trader to buy a put option that locks in the right to sell the stock for $17 per share. This would only cost the trader $0.13 cents per share or $13 total up front. However, he is locking in a price to sell that is $1.62 lower than SLV is currently trading for. This contract only protects the stock against extreme losses of more than $1.62 per share, but it only costs $0.13 cents per share up front. For only $0.07 cents per share, the trader can lock in the right to sell the stock at $16 and for only $0.04, cents, the trader can lock in the right to sell the stock for $15. For a higher cost, $1.53 per share, the trader can lock in the right to sell SLV for $20, and for $2.40 per share, the trader can lock in the right to sell SLV for $21. Hopefully you can begin to see where there's a trade-off 
of upfront costs versus the preset sale price that is locked in. These contracts expire in a month. For even more cost, the trader could buy a put option contract that expires in two months instead of one month because it ensures the stock for longer and for an even higher cost, they can buy one that expires later than that, three months, six months, usually up to a year. For this example, I used SLV, the silver ETF. The cost for options varies for each stock or ETF. We will discuss options pricing in later videos, but in general, the higher the volatility in an asset's price, the more the options will cost for that asset. So that's an example of using a put option as an insurance policy to protect against loss. In the next video, we will look at using a put option as a speculative instrument. Thanks for watching.